Hello YouTube, it is Chris here, and today's episode is going to be a little bit different. Um, the format's going to be a little different because this is more of a discussion point than anything. As you could surmise by the title, why is YouTube doing this? Um, and that's regards to demonetizing smaller channels, like literally removing them from the partnership program altogether. Now, previously, I think it was last year, they made a new requirement basically saying you have to have 10,000 lifetime views. And for a brand new channel, that is actually a pretty big deal. That is a pretty large milestone in the very, very beginning. It takes years, in most cases, to get to a point where you can start getting those kind of views per day, per week, per month. It takes a while. So in a 12 month period, when you're first trying to get your name out there, you're just enjoying the hobby, you're just kind of just doing it to do it, it can take a long time. Now. The new policy that they just released, a bunch of my friends have been posting about on Instagram, Facebook, making live streams on YouTube, and asking people's opinions, asking for support from their fellow subscribers to help share their videos out, and it is a big deal, is now you have to have a minimum of 1,000 subscribers, and instead of want views, you have to have a total of 4,000 hours of watch time. Now, given the average watch time per viewer on my channel as a baseline, just because it's the only relevant information that I have detailed analytics for, is about four minutes and 30 seconds up to five minutes, depending on the month. So on average, you're only gonna have people stick around for four to five minutes. Now, unless you're like a channel like Alex Jones, who makes like crazy long videos, your watch times are probably gonna be much, much um, shorter than that. So, we were doing some rough math based off my analytics, and it looks like you're gonna have to get somewhere between 50 to 70,000 views now. And that's assuming that all those new channels actually make what I would call a full size episode, which is somewhere between the six to 15 minute mark of the entire episode, like per episode they make, which is a kind of a full feature length kind of deal. So with that said, they're gonna have to work five to seven times harder. Now this is a move personally I disagree with, However, playing devil's advocate, I can understand from an economic standpoint, they're trying to, since a lot of creators are being upset because their ad revenue is vastly down, and I'm saying vastly, and to give you kind of a representation of that is, back about a year and a half ago, I was at like between 18 to 25,000 subscribers. No one had even remotely even heard of me. Barely anybody has heard of me now still, but with that said, uh, I was getting a lot more money from YouTube and it still wasn't enough to live off of. Um, even to this day, my wife and I still have normal regular jobs and we do this uh, part time because mostly we love it, but we wanna share our outdoor skills, become better and share what we learn as we learn it. So this is kind of a campaign or labor of love that we're gonna continue to do until we're blue in the face or YouTube's gone. It doesn't really matter, but it's something we truly, truly, truly enjoy. Now, speaking further into that, now we have higher view counts much higher view counts. Our watch times are pretty darn significant compared to what they were about a year and a half ago. We have people watching longer. We have more people sharing. We have more subscribers per day. We have more likes. We have more everything than we used to, like vastly more everything. And we actually make about, depending on the month, it really depends on the month, but on average between 40 to 60% less than we did back then, which is absolutely ridiculous. And it, kind of is mind blowing. But like I said, since we have full time jobs to pay the bills for us personally, it doesn't really realistically affect us as a whole. So since this isn't a full time income for us at this point, and like I said, to be totally transparent with you guys, we get a half a million views on average per month. And we are thankful for every single freaking one without you guys, we would be absolutely nothing. So that's why we do things like our episodal giveaways, we try to do anything we can to give back, not just in fun, entertaining and relevant information, but we also try to have some fun and give back to you guys for just making everything we do 100% possible. I ask you guys is what do you guys think about this new move for people who have no channels whatsoever and you're purely watching from a viewer standpoint, how, how, what do you think about this one regarding to channels that you may follow who fall under the criteria of being less than a thousand subscribers? anything like that. I know plenty of people follow channels from all various sizes, whether in the millions, they have the hundreds of thousands, they have tens of thousands or less. So for me, I think this vastly de-incentivizes a lot of channels from even starting, keep going. I think a lot of, you're gonna see 
tens upon tens of thousands of channels in the next few weeks to months just quit altogether. Some of them are going to try to push forward and if they don't make it and they just get that notice that they haven't met those qualifications, we may see another exodus of people just leaving. And I think this is the biggest crack in the foundation of YouTube that I've ever seen. And this still would be a very expensive endeavor given the fact that Google and YouTube are the largest search engines on the web. This gives rise to a very strong platform to come on and kind of rival YouTube for the very first time. And they would have to backpedal pretty hard to make those changes. And it would take a very significant outcry from the YouTube community as a whole, messing with the overall timeline and baseline of how they're doing this. Like I said, this is something I personally disagree with because I know how hard it is to get your start on YouTube. For the first six months of my channel, I couldn't even get 500 subscribers. I spent six freaking months making video after video after video after video. I'm considered a very highly success story in the manner that we had some help from some larger YouTubers like Cutlery Lover, Late Boy Scout, way back in the day. I don't even think those videos exist anymore. And they hooked us up big time. They actually shared out our channel. That's how we got our first 500 viewers. Um, we, we, were, <laughs> we weren't even a tadpole in the middle of a pond that just happened to come up because of rain. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, we were, be, we were beyond smaller than the kiddie pool. It was ridiculous. Um, and we made videos every single week and like we were getting like 20, 30 views a week. And we were excited about that. It was pretty cool that that many people even wanted to sit down and listen to anything we had to say. And it's mind blowing to see how far we've come and see how many people actually come out and watch our videos. It's a truly a huge blessing, but what really breaks my heart is the fact that a lot of people that were in the same boat I was in as little as last year in the year before that, um, they're gonna have even harder of a time to just make their way on YouTube and make anything happen. So if you have any small creators that are out there, definitely do what you can to try to go subscribe to them. Just check them out. Just search different genres you're interested in and find those small creators and see if there's any of them out there who just happen to have this interesting way of presenting the information and see if it's someone you wanna, you know, help support even by liking, sharing, and subscribing the videos, watching the videos all the way through, all that good stuff. And as far as I know, right as of like today, all the creators who are gonna be basically booted uh, without meeting that 4,000 hour watch time criteria, have 30 days to try to meet that criteria in a 12 month period. So they're gonna basically, in a real sense, have between, they have to make 50 to 70,000 views. Like I said, that 10,000 view threshold was already pretty substantial. Now they're gonna have to get 50 to 70,000 views to make that watch time goal. On average, like I said, using my analytics of four and a half to five minutes of people watching, it's gonna be very, very hard for them to be able to reach that limit. And I think, like I said, it's the biggest crack in the foundation I've seen on YouTube. I'm pretty disappointed in this move, but um, like I said, I'm just one person sharing my opinion and I would like to know yours. How do you guys feel about how YouTube is um, reacting to the small creators out there and the really small creators? And who's to say later on down the road, like next year when they make a big policy change, are they gonna cut it off where you have 5,000 subscribers and 12,000 hours of watch time? Who's to say that they're not gonna make those changes later on down the road? But, um, and that's probably the, one of the scariest things we're looking for is the fact that they're gonna be having stricter and stricter criteria just to be a part of the YouTube partner program anymore. But um, that's just about us guys. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Hope you guys enjoy our regularly scheduled episodes. Hope you guys enjoyed the blacksmithing episode that just released earlier today. And stay tuned for some awesome giveaways and some awesome, awesome episodes that we have coming up. Uh, like I said, we still do this part time, but we're gonna keep turning away and having some fun and sharing what we learn as we learn it with you guys. So I love you guys. I'm out.